Hey there 9 to fivers this is Rich once more with some tips to take your gaming into the stratosphere. This is the top 5 spoiler free tips for Kerbal Space Program. Spoilers you say? Isn't this game like NASA only without the spirit crushing bureaucracy? Well yes, but it's an experience and you need to start from square one and I'm here to help you get started without spoiling any of the awesome learning curve. Tip number 5 is to play in the sandbox. Like all kids know, the sandbox is where you have the most fun. So when you are presented with these options to start new, do a training, or scenarios, I recommend going with start new, changing it to sandbox, name it however what player you want, pick your flag, we're going to go with squad, and we're going to say start. Now you have everything available to you and you can just go and have fun. Tip 4, after you enter the vehicle assembly building where all the awesome rocket building happens, is to learn the camera controls. Now before you can start really moving around anything, you need to have a command module in place. I'm going to pick our Mark 1-2 command pod, and now I can start moving the camera around. Moving the scroll wheel down and up will allow my camera to move up and down inside the VAB, while holding the right mouse button and kind of moving circles will allow me to rotate or pivot the camera around a center point. If I want to zoom out or zoom in, I'll just hold down shift and then I will use the scroll wheel. And this is how you want to navigate around the vehicle assembly building. In addition to moving the camera controls, it might be in your best interest to give yourself some more space. As the command pod starts on a lower level, you might want to actually have to move it up. So you want to click on it once and then you can actually just move it around inside the vehicle assembly building. Tip three is grayed out pieces are not connected to the ship. So say you select this piece, you add it to your command module, and now you're awesome and ready to go. But wait, I want to add something else to this. I need to put something in the middle. Maybe I'm going to put a giant battery in the middle. So I'm going to move this off, and I'm going to add this battery, and then I'm going to completely forget that I took this off of my rocket. What you will see is that this is grayed out. By being grayed out like this, slightly transparent, it means that it's not actually connected to your rocket. When you go to launch your rocket, it will not be there and you will be less than happy with the results. So remember, make sure they are attached and that they are highlighted green and then they snap to the ship and you should be ready to go. Tip number two is to mine the stages. As you add components to your rockets, they may start auto adding stages down here in the lower right. As you can see right now, I have one propulsion or one engine and that stage right there is indicating that when I hit spacebar, and I'll get to this later on, that it will fire and it will be the only stage that will fire. Now say I want to add a parachute because I would like for my little Kerbals to sur survive this launch and come back in one piece. Now you can see that there are two icons down here in the bottom right. However, and we'll discuss this again later, when I hit spacebar that will indicate that they will both fire as part of the stage. That may be a suboptimal outcome. In this case, I can separate them putting the motor on the first stage and the parachute on the second stage. And this way they will fire in the order from the highest number to the lowest number. The last and most important tip that I can give you is to just have fun. There are a plethora of YouTube videos out there and tutorials and rocket science and rocket equations and orbital mechanics that you can follow up on once you become much more involved in what's going on here. But at the basis, this is about as close as you're going to get to being able to go into space unless you are a billionaire or you actually work for NASA or maybe you're an astronaut. So don't be afraid to just throw rockets on there, put as many engines as you want, as much propulsion as you want, because in the end, it's not your fate that's at risk. It is Jebediah, Bill, Bob, and whatever Kerbals you decide to hire. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you get started on your Kerbal endeavors. I'm going to leave you with one last bonus tip. The spacebar is how you activate stages once you are on the launch pad. It cares not the state of your rocket. So hitting straight bar will activate the next stage. Be careful or you may end up with some charred curbins. Uh, look for future tips where we actually may explain some of the mechanics. As for now, we hope this gets you started without spoiling of any of the awesome explosions that you are sure to encounter. Happy blasting.